Hello. Well, today, Painting with Nicola is talking to Angie Saunders, who is curator of a little gallery called Inspiré in a little French village of Azil. But having a gallery and curating is not new to Angie, something she's done before. So I'd like to introduce Angie Saunders and perhaps you tell us a bit about how you got into that, Angie. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Nicola. Hi, everyone. So after doing my, um, my MA, um, I was then qualified enough to, to go for, for jobs within museums and galleries, um, doing various different roles in community arts and sort of independent galleries, as well as sort of um, big national galleries as well. Fabulous. So, so you, you're well experienced in this business, but then you somehow ended up in the south of France. What happened there then? How did that come about? I did, I did. I was actually working at um, Windsor Arts Centre um, as education manager there and I'd been there a couple of years when I met my now husband. Point I'd actually taken a job at the Victorian Albert Museum in London so I'd sort of got the job that was you know my big job which I absolutely adore as well, adored and um, and so it was a big move, but I was there for I was there for quite a long time. We lived in near Windsor for sort of going on seven years after we met, and then after that we came out here. So. Super, super. So, so anyway, um, I know you do other things, but let's talk about the gallery which you've set up. Um, mm -hmm. How how do you select your artists, Sanjay? Um, well, I have I have sort of quite a few connections previously with international artists, so. Um, so obviously there's, um, there's artists that I know about that are sort of on the circuit, you know, in London and around that area. Um, but also I look closely at local artists as well and national artists. I think it's very, very important to, um, to showcase and profile artists within the region. Um, generally when we first opened the gallery, um, six years ago, I would go looking for artists that wanted to exhibit, but now... We have um, a, a long list of um, artists that would like to exhibit, so that's so that's brilliant, really. That's super. So lots of different things. Yeah, it's it's lovely. I know I've been to your place quite a few times, and it's it's nice to see you supporting local artists as well as having a very varied um, portfolio of types of exhibitions. It's super. But of course, yeah. this is bringing this is bringing us up to your next exhibition, which is in fact going to be Libby Page, isn't it? That's right, that's right, the, the lovely Libby, and this will be the sixth year then that she's exhibited at the gallery, which is fantastic. And she's going from strength to strength, isn't she? She is, and, and her work's changing as well, quite dramatically, but, you know, in a really organic fashion as well. So Libby's move to Berlin now um, sort of is included within her, her new works, and so you can really see sort of like her transition in, in, in herself as well as her artwork, which is fantastic, but still with a love for this region and for the canal, and yes. still painting sort of the beautiful area that we live in. So. Yes, because I, I did another interview with Libby recently, because we've been doing a little series of actually following a piece of work that is going to feature at the exhibition, and I think she's nearly finished it, you'll be pleased to hear. But yes. you, can see, you can see the effect of Berlin in her colour palette, I think. It's, it's, it's sort of toned down a little bit. It's more of a, a northern climate, possibly. I don't know. We, we will have to see what everybody else thinks. What's yeah. your view on the colour palettes? Um, the, yeah, I think, the, I think you're right. I think there has been a change in the colour palettes. But what I find really inspirational about Libby's move with this, um, with this particular exhibition is also some of the subjects within the work as well. So there's little bits creeping in, sort of a little, there's a little sort of bit of graffiti in one of the um, paintings that sort of, you know, really sort of like bringing a bit more of a contemporary slant into some of the works as well, which I think Berlin is huge for sort of contemporary and conceptual art. So it's a, it's a real nice sort of a new touch. That's fabulous. So how many pieces will you be showing, Angie? So I think at the moment there's um, 14 pieces, between 12, 14 pieces. Super. Um, really, really lovely. And also sort of different formats as well this year. Um, a really wonderful sort of diptych as well. 
Um, it's really nice to have a diptych. I always think an exhibition too, and um, and some new um, reproductions. So four of the four new reproductions, limited editions, um, and then if, and then a couple of surprises as well. Which is yes, awesome. yes, the surprises are interesting, and we maybe we won't say much more about that at the moment because uh, they are um, in transit, so to speak. But but also there will be her limited edition prints, her greeting cards, and of course the much appreciated calendar for next year. Yeah, absolutely. The calendar is always fantastic, and um, and two new cushion designs as well. So that's lovely as well because the cushions have been a, a fabulous addition to to Libby's portfolio and they've you know they've been sort of flying out of the door of the gallery. Well so that's, that's brilliant because one of the um, subjects Libby and I discussed in one of her interviews was the dreaded merchandising you know should should an artist do it or not and I think you've asked yeah. that question. Um, yeah. Do you actually handle the merchandising for her? I do I do sort of within this area as well it's a bit of both you know Libby has you know has um her merchandise she does so that from berlin and i do it from here in the langdok but i think you know certainly with merchandising for artists you have to be very careful it has to be done very very well and one thing that libby does is she's very conscious um about that and she uses the you know the best materials and she, you know her, her cushions are a vegan um like a vegan suede and so she's very ethical as well and I think that matters a lot to people that buy her work too. I think that's a huge thing. Yeah. And it's a huge thing for us at the gallery too. You know, we really support that. Yes, that's great. And also it reflects the feeling about the fact that we're used losing so many of the plateau the plane trees along the Canal de Midi and there are people funding to help that. So it all comes in together being aware of your environment, doesn't it? It's it does absolutely and certainly you know Libby in the past couple of years she's always given sort of part of the profit of the calendar and various other things to the replantation um, process so that's very important in you know in her heart and in our hearts as well I think in everybody's hearts that live in this region yes so the canal definitely yeah, yes yes oh that's lovely it's not it's nice to reflect it so so I expect you're looking forward to it. I know I'm going to be popping down to see you both um, when it isn't too frantic to have a look around. But is there anything else you'd like to say about the exhibition at the moment? Um, well, I'm, I'm itching to get a sort of hang in with Libby, which is always lovely. And we always have, I always leave at least a week, a week and a half to hang. And it's a great experience and we hang together and we sort of know each other now. So now, I'm really, I'm really excited for this next couple of weeks coming up and, you know, and to have the exhibition there until the 5th of January. I think we've got, we've got the exhibition there until. So, no, it should be. It's always a nice thing to have over Christmas, definitely. That, that's lovely. And it's lovely to see your enthusiasm for what you do. And, you know, it's not like just hanging a few pictures. You know, you've got to think about it, haven't you? Get the order right and the sizing and everything. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you know, there's everything. There's sort of like, you know, the, there's the ordering, like you say, making sure that the series work together. There's the lighting as well. The lighting's a huge part, a part of hanging a show. You've got the, the etiquette, the labels, you've got the lists, you've got, you know, all the social media, everything sort of, you know, that goes along with a show is a big part of, of what the gallerist and the artist do together as well. So, it, you know, and the, another thing that, that I love as well is, is to think that the show will, and Libby loves this, I think as well, that it will inspire the next generation of artists. So I work with the schools in Asi to offer workshops and, you know, guided visits with the school children because, you know, it's, uh, they're our next artists as well, which is fantastic. Well, that's beautiful and absolutely lovely. A pleasure to talk to you, Angie, and hear thank about, about a bit more about you. I don't know you that well, but thank you very much indeed. And I will thank see you, you very soon. Um, Libby's exhibition starts when? Starts on the 27th. Um, and the private view this year is a bit, more, a bit extended because we generally have so many people. So we're going to be there from 2 until 10. So yeah. quite a long private view on the 27th, the Saturday. And then, like I say, it goes on until until the 5th of January. So plenty so of time. Plenty of time for everybody to get there and have a look. Absolutely. That's super. Well, thank you very much, Angie, for, for your time. Lovely to talk to you. And I will see you again shortly. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye.